Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so I've been doing a lot of projects, a lot of drawings and artworks and craft works. So today, I want to kind of like chill down. I want to do something fun and relaxing. So today, I'm thinking of making some stickers. This is a technique I've been using for a while. It's really, really fun and easy and it's so cheap. All you need are some tape and some water. And literally, that's it. It's so aesthetic too because it's like transparent, you can see through it, and you can basically stick it on and decorate anything that you want. So yeah, okay. <laughs> um, let's make some DIY transparent stickers. Let's get started. So before anything, I'm going to be drawing characters on paper first. So, hmm, I kind of want to draw Zain Itsu from Kimetsu no Yaiba. Again, all my drawings are going to be like my style, obviously. So it's not going to be like exactly like the original. I'm thinking of drawing Zain Itsu in a chibi form, where he has like big face, big eyes, and small nose, and just like really cutesy in general. I'm also thinking of like making several facial expressions, because Zain Itsu has so many different faces and they're all so adorable. Now I'm drawing toilet bound Hanako-kun. I know a lot of you guys have requested him. I've drawn him a few times before, and I also love that anime. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So toilet bound Hanako-kun it is. I read every single comment like literally and I'm so grateful and these requests are only like a gist of them. I literally get comments to draw Hanako-kun like every single day. I would definitely draw them again in the future for a more complex drawing because this is more like for fun. I think I'm going to go with these drawings today. Now that I'm done with the rough draft, I'm going to move on digitally. And today, I'm going to be using my iPad. Oh gosh, it's so dirty. Let me just clean it real quick. <laughs> okay, nice and clean. Okay, if you don't have an iPad, you can always just use your phone. And as always, I'm going to be using Ibis Paint. It's a free app and you can also use it on your phone. I'm just going to quickly take a picture. I'm going to put it inside. Change the color of the lines and I'm just going to start drawing. So I'm going to be using dip pen hard for the outline. Today's drawings are honestly going to be really simple. When I print it out, it's probably going to be really small and the small details are probably going to disappear anyways. So I'm going to keep them really simple and clean. No blending, no shadows or anything. A lot of people have asked me why I'm drawing so many Kimetsu no Yaiba characters and I know because I've been drawing them for like every video. But if you didn't know, it's like the biggest thing in Japan right now. Everything is collabed with Kimetsu, everyone's talking about Kimetsu, and the movie that just came out exploded. The movie is making more than Frozen from Disney, Titanic, and Harry Potter, well at least in Japan, and it's so big right now. So the first face is going to be him looking a bit worried and sad and you can see him yelling Tanjiro! And his second face is going to be him smiling. That's his face when he first saw Nezuko-chan. And the third face. I'm just going to erase that again. I'm using the same base and changing the eyes and his last face is going to be him sleeping. Well, sleeping but he becomes really strong when he's sleeping so it's his fighting face. And I wanted to draw his friend, Chuntaro, with him because I thought it would be a cute touch to add when I'm decorating things with stickers. When you're making stickers, it's always useful if you like add random objects that fit the character to kind of decorate around it. So Chuntaro it is. Now moving on to toilet bound Hanako-kun drawings. Again, I'm just going to take a picture and start tracing it with a hard tip pen. I decided to draw them in like a soul shaped thing to make it look aesthetically like stickers. Honestly, I'm kinda on an art block right now. I've been trying to draw more lately, but everything I draw just don't turn out that great. And I'm feeling a little bit off. I feel like I need a little bit more inspiration for drawings, 
So if you guys are okay, I would deeply appreciate if you send me your original drawings through Instagram or Twitter. I'm kind of thinking of redrawing your drawings in the future. I can't promise when because I feel like that would kind of stress me out and make the art blog even worse. But sometime definitely in the future. I know some of you have sent to me before, but I did lose some because I destroyed my old laptop with ramen. <laughs> and I would really appreciate it if you send it to me again. And I would love to receive your original drawings. Like, no copies of a drawing or existing characters. Like, really original drawings. And if you do send it to me, I will check it, but I may not be able to respond, so I really hope you guys understand. So after Hanako-kun, I'm drawing Nene-chan. She's the main character who turns into a fish. And lastly, I drew Moke as the side character. Moke are these really cute bunny looking monsters who loves to eat candies. And I guess I don't really have anything else to talk about, so here's a video of me just drawing. Hope you like it. So I moved it into my computer. I'm just going to line them up and copy and paste it as many as I can. And this is how it turned out. So here's the Zen Itsu sticker sheet, toilet bound Hanako-kun stickers. And because I wanted to make more at once, I decided to make more with my older drawings. So here's Tsuyu-chan from Boku no Hero. And lastly, some Miku stickers. There's four different kinds of sheets, and I think we're ready to print them out. So you need to be careful, this technique does not work with every printer. There are several different kinds of printers, like laser printers and inkjet printers, and you need the laser ones to make it work. I only have inkjet printers at home, so I went out to the convenience store and printed them out using those printers. They're like 10 cents to 50 cents, really cheap, and I'm sure you guys could find cheaper places and options in your country. Just make sure that they're laser printers. So I went to the store, printed them out, and this is how it looks like. I have like a lot right here. I printed out two pages per sheet just to be safe. Some mistakes that I made. I usually put all my mistakes in my videos because I think everyone can learn from everyone's mistakes. The first mistake, um, <laughs> I'm sorry Zainzu. You can see he kind of got cut off on both sides. I should have made it smaller. Another mistake, I printed them out a little bit too big. You'll see why they turned out a little bit too big for my supplies. Okay, now let's move on to the final step. First off, we're going to need some water and some tape. And this is basically it. So I printed them out for like 10 cents, 50 cents. Water is basically really, really cheap and some tape that I got from a dollar store. And honestly, I'm not going to use like the whole roll. So basically, I'm going to make all these stickers for like less than a dollar. <laughs> I haven't done this for a while, so I'm kind of nervous. Which one should we start off with? Hmm, maybe Miku. I'm going to cut it and it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're just going to tape it on like so. Make sure that it's on real nice. And now we're going to cut off the excess. So now this is the fun part. We're going to put this into the water. And then when we rub it off, it's going to turn into like a transparent sticker. So I'm going to put it inside. And like wait for a few minutes. We want to wait until the paper is really soft and soggy. And now we're going to turn it over and kind of like rub it off. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Can you see how like the picture is staying onto the tape? And there you have it, a very transparent film. 
I'm going to put it aside for it to dry. Next, I'm going to move on to Zain Itsu stickers. I could like cut out each of them out, but I don't feel like it, so I'm gonna cut out a whole row. <gasps> Wait, get off, get off! I need to position it so it's like at the perfect place. Oh, it's kind of off center. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. Like so. And then I'm going to get my water again. And again, we're just going to wait until it kind of dissolves. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And just a tip when you're rubbing it off, you need to make sure that all the white parts are coming off. Even when you think you got everything off, Chances are that there's some residue left, so you may need to repeat this step a few times. I'm really liking how it's turning out. I think it's looking so good. And again, we're just going to put it aside for it to dry. And I'm going to be repeating these steps to make as many stickers as I want. Just a tip, when you place the tape on the drawing, you need to kind of scrub it on before you put it into the water, or else the picture might kind of fade. And when you're scrubbing off the paper, you want to do it like at least three times because it's really hard to get every white piece off. The white residue becomes easier to see when it dries, but it's not going to look that great if you see lots of white dots here and there. So yeah. So it's been about like 10 minutes now and I think they're getting dry. Except for Tsuyu-chan because she's the last one that I did. So after it becomes dry and the water evaporates, it becomes a little bit tacky. Like it's not like sticky like a sticker, but it's a bit tacky. Lastly, I'm going to get some cookie sheet. Oh, my hamster's awake. Do you want to say hi to you two? Hi. Aww. She's so cute. She's my little hamster named Kyu-chan. Say hi to you two. I can never get my work done when she's awake. Mm. Okay, back to work. I'm going to get some tape again. This time I'm going to tape it down like so. And I'm just going to place it on top of the tape. I'm going to cut off some excess. And there you have it. Your original transparent sticker. And that's it guys! Here's all the stickers. With these stickers, you can literally decorate anything that you want. Like a pencil case, or like a notebook. Satisfying. <gasps> that's gonna be so cute! So here's my very, very original notebook. I think I should have cut along the lines instead of making it into a square. But still, I think it's so cute. You can also like decorate a pouch. Yes. Okay, okay. Zain Itsu it is. I mean, it's just thicker so you can peel it off and replace it anytime. I really like how this one turned out. Hmm. Not my favorite, but I think it's kind of cute. Ta-da! What do you guys think? I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. But like I said, I think I should have like cut along the lines. I thought it wouldn't really make a difference because it's going to be transparent anyways, you wouldn't really be able to see it. But it's actually a lot more noticeable than I thought. Next time, I'm definitely going to cut along the lines. And my Zen Itsu pouch. I'm actually really really happy with how this one turned out. It's so cute. I mean, it's so original, no one else has it. And I made it for real real cheap. And it doesn't have to be Zen Itsu, you can just like draw any character that you want. Anyways, I guess that's it for today. If you guys liked this video, please subscribe and comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!